So with this one, I'm I'm testing the Godak um, GT GPT. So you can see I've connected the Godak GPT to my ECU, which is ED17. And now I'm checking if my if I can read the EEPROM through that. But um, with the OBD star, the MP0001, you have to get the US, uh, you have to get the OBD connector for that side. But if you don't have it and you have the Godak um, GPT, you can use it because it has the GPT ports and the GPT ports are on particular um, OBD2 pin outs. So let's say I think pin 10 and 9 or uh, pin 10 and 9 or pin 10 and other number. So with this one, it, will, it is communicating. So you have to turn the automatic on. The automatic is only used for scandex um, schematic when you are using the schematic vci that's where you use that one but if not you can read so i'm trying also with the multi-prog and see if i'll be able to read it and i've done the connection so first i'll start and read the eprom to see if it is able to communicate so with both of the machines normally what they do is they shut down the power and as time goes on, they send signal. So as at now, it has sent power to turn on the control unit. So when it is done, it will shut it down. That's how sometimes they used to read the ECU. So they send power, and when it is done reading, they shut it down. So with this one, I'm reading it, and because it is using the same pinout on the multiprog, so I just connected the OBD cable to it because all is D144. So if you can see, I'm able to read it successfully. And also the light goes off when it is done reading. So it turns on again when it wants to read or verify anything. So as of now, I'm reading the EEPROM. Hey, sorry, I'm reading the flash. And you can see it has also done the same thing. So I'm trying to read the flash. And now it is reading. So the difference between the Chinese version and the global version, you can see mine, the sending data is read in Chinese. So all those three, all those Chinese ways. So it's just sending data. So all of them, they connect to the server, then they decode the VIN and get the PIN code and get the password to read the chip. I'm about to bring more video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel.